Hola Unconventionals, I'm Amelia. And I'm JP. And we are sharing our unconventional life with you from Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Hola. Hola. We're actually getting ready to head back to Cuenca this morning. We've had an amazing time. It's, as I've said before, it's so peaceful here. We woke up to a nice gentle rain. It's absolutely gorgeous. Even mm -hmm. the rain is más tranquilo here. Mm -hmm. And actually, last night JP had mentioned that the dogs are more tranquilo here aquí también. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They just uh, they don't even move when you walk yeah. by them. They kind of look at you a little bit, but they're yeah. just, even the dogs are mellow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we're back in Cuenca. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> We really missed our babies. Mm -hmm. They were very happy to see us. Yes, and we were super happy to see them, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, we wanted to tell you a little bit more about how to get between the two cities mm -hmm. of Vilcabamba and Cuenca. I know a lot of people have questions about that, and we did too. Yeah, we really didn't know how we were going to get back. Yeah, it was a game time decision. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so I'm going to start by telling you what we didn't do, and that was to take a regular bus. But I'm going to let you guys know be about it because it's a really economical option. Mm -hmm. You can take the bus from Vilcabamba to Loja, and that costs $1.50, and I think it leaves every hour. And I believe it takes about an hour to get to Loja. Mm -hmm. And from there, you can take a regular full-size bus from Loja all the way over to Cuenca. And I heard that costs around $7. I'm not 100% sure, but it's around $7. And that, that will take about four to four and a half hours. Mm -hmm. So taking a bus is going to take you like six hours or so. Right. It mm -hmm. takes about six hours, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we took the van service from Elite Tours. Mm -hmm. And our hotel, Madre Tierra, and if you didn't see that video yet, I'll link that up here. They organized a taxi for us. The taxi picked us up at the hotel. It was $20 for both of us, not mm -hmm. each of us. Right. So it was 20 bucks, and he drove us all the way to the Elite Tours terminal in Loja. Exactly. And then from there, we got into a van, which is, it was kind of like a full-size or mid-size van with, I think, enough seating for, what, seven people? Seven people. Yeah, and it was yeah. really comfortable. It was really comfortable. There were only four passengers mm -hmm. plus the driver. And that cost us, what was it? It was $12 a piece. $12 per ticket. So we got home for, what is that, $34? Yes. yes. 30, $34. <laughs> That's how we both had to stop yeah. and think so long. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so it only cost us $34 to get home. And it took about 45 minutes, a little over, because it was raining, to get from Vilcabamba to Loja. Mm -hmm. And then we waited around for about 30 minutes for the van to leave. Yep. And then it took us... Just a little three, over three a hours. A little over three hours to get from Loja back to their bus terminal or their bus station here in Cuenca, which is on Remigio Crespo, close to Feria Libre mm -hmm. and uh, Avenida de las Americas. It's basically right next door to the Opera Azuay Tour right. terminal. What was nice about the van trip that we took is that he did stop and give us a bathroom slash stretch your leg slash get snacks break. Yes. Yeah. It was a nice <laughs> little spot too, about the halfway it was. point. And it, they have a pool. <laughs> yeah, we were shocked to see that kind of in the middle of the nowhere, there was this pool and it was packed. I know, it was full of people yeah. swimming and enjoying time. He said in, the pool was heated. Yeah, it was an indoor pool. All right, so what's the other option? So the other options, there's one. You could take the Buceta that goes directly from each Kaluma to Cuenca and then from mm -hmm. Cuenca to each Kaluma. And I think that runs every day. It's a one a day trip. Mm -hmm. So the return trip, meaning the trip back to Cuenca leaves at 8 a.m. I think the tickets cost $15, mm -hmm. but that's gonna be your fastest option because they get there, I guess, in about three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Maybe or four. A, yeah. yeah, I'm not exactly sure because we haven't taken it. Mm -hmm. And then same goes, there's one bus daily that goes from Cuenca, it leaves at 1.30, and then that gets you back to Vilcabamba and like specifically to Ishkaluma. So, but you have to take a cab over to Ishkaluma unless you're staying unless there. Unless you're staying there, of mm -hmm. course. So it works out to be about the same. We as we mentioned earlier, we opted not to take the Ishkaluma bus for one thing, or Buset, I should say, for one thing because they were doing maintenance on it that day, but also because we did not want to get up and leave so early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we would have had to leave the hotel like 6.30 or 7 yeah. to get over there in time and get some breakfast because Madre Tierra doesn't start serving breakfast, breakfast until 8.30. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But it all worked out quite yes, nicely. it did. Yeah. So your other option is to hire a private driver. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely do that. But that, of course, will be the most expensive. Yeah, like Edwin. Exactly. Edwin has picked us up in Guayaquil several mm -hmm. times. Yep. So he he would come to Vilcabamba and pick you up, or any private driver would. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That would probably be the fastest route. And then you could stop and smell the roses along the way more if you wanted to. Yeah, we actually talked about doing that on our next trip because mm -hmm. there's a couple places we'd like to stop and do some sightseeing. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Edwin may be driving us back there sometime. 
Yes. <laughs> and we've already had requests for more Day in the Life videos from Vilcabamba too, so we got to get back there. Oh, darn. I know. <laughs> I'm ready to go back now. <laughs> it's been we pretty cold it. and rainy here in Cuenca since we got back. Yeah. <laughs> Missing my has. shorts weather. I know. Gosh, we got used to that very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. But that being said, we love Cuenca, and luckily this weather only lasts for a couple months, and then it'll be back to normal. Yeah, yeah. After we got home, we walked down to our fruit lady like mm -hmm. we always do when we travel, but she was closed. I know. We were so disappointed. <laughs> she's got a great selection. Yeah. And she's so nice. I know. We really like her, but she was closed, so we walked over to Patricia's, which is another grocery store in our neighborhood that we've never talked about or shown before, so we thought we'd show you a little bit of footage about that. So the correct name is Supermercado Patricia's. And it's mm -hmm. right over by the stadium, pretty close to our house. It's very convenient. They have all the essentials. And we like to go there when we just need a few things or we don't feel like going all the way over to Supermaxi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have lots of produce. Mm -hmm. Not quite as much as the Mercado, obviously. Right. But they have enough to get us by. Yes. And they have nut milks, which is a new addition. And we're really happy to see mm -hmm. those there. And they have all kinds of other stuff, too. Yeah, they have like coffee and condiments and mm -hmm. beans and rice and cleaning supplies, ribbons, mm -hmm. stuff like hardware kind of stuff, mm -hmm. yes. paper products. It reminds me of the small farm town. I grew up in Kansas. We had grocery stores that were like that. It was like a cross between a hardware store and a grocery store. And they just, they have everything. And it's the same way with this one. It just, it feels like when I was a kid. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's nice to have it so close to home too. Yes, it is. And they were open, more importantly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's always important. We do have a few more observations about Vilcabamba to share with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on our last night there, we walked back into town and did some people watching mm -hmm. and we met a chocolate farmer. Yeah. yeah Amelia, was... I thought she was going to leave me there for a minute. Ha ha. This chocolate is this. This is This chocolate is this. This chocolate is this. This chocolate is this. This chocolate is this. Es tostado en paila de barro, con leña de faique, leña dulce. Lo hace más puro, pruébelo. Pruébelo. ¿Sí? Sí. Mmm, <risa> wow, it's delicious. Mmm. It's very chocolatey. Tenemos así. Tenemos barritas en la misma hoja. Oh, wow. La misma hoja de cacao, ya oh, no okay. plástico. Sí. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Ese es el que, ese es el que probó. Wow. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. So they don't use any plastic. I like that. Este vuelta es para la piel o para la gastritis. Oh, okay. Sí. Puede que le guste ese. Mm. Cool. For the skin. Le viene así, puro. Oh, okay, yeah. Sí, es amargo para tomar también o para la piel o la gastritis. Okay. Yeah, it was really cool trying that guy's chocolate and mm -hmm. the fact that he is not using plastic for his packaging, I think is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that was one of the interesting things we noticed and really appreciated about Vilcabamba is that they do try to reduce plastic use as much as possible. Yeah, they do. And they have a Vil what they call Vilca water, which is a bottle watering plant in Vilcabamba. Mm -hmm. And so the restaurants, we were asking for bottled water because you can't drink the water out of the tap there. And they all said, oh, we have Vilca water. And it's yeah. basically, it's just big bottles that they get and they serve it in the gl in glasses. Yeah, like those really big. Yeah, five gallon. Yeah, or... if I do this, of course I'm out of right <laughs> <laughs> like, So not, you know. Imagine you're... bigger than this. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they use that and they, that's why they serve water in a glass at restaurants. So it's safe to drink. Yes. Mm -hmm. But they, we didn't see a lot of bottled water at all. No, we really didn't. And we mm -hmm. were happy about that. Same with plastic bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Not a lot of single use plastic there. No. What we did see was a huge double rainbow. Oh, it was so cool. And it, was, it wasn't even raining in Vilcabamba yet, but it was obviously raining off in the mountains. Yeah, it was beautiful. And I heard that they see rainbows like that there all the time. Mm -hmm. The guy that runs the UFO uh, restaurant told me that they see those every week. Wow, that's I know. really cool. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. That was the most vivid rainbow I've ever seen. Yeah. Some of the other things that we observed about Vilcabamba was the fact that it's really, really clean there. Mm -hmm. And at, we already mentioned that there's a lot of awesome people, huge variety of people. Mm -hmm. 
dogs are super tranquilo and yeah. we didn't see street dogs that doesn't mean they aren't there we just didn't see any mm -hmm. all, almost all the dogs we saw had collars or mm -hmm. were, were with people yeah and they were super tranquilo. they were so well. friendly <laughs> yes <laughs> everything there it's like a slower pace it really even is. slower than cuenca i know jp kept telling me it reminded him of the town he grew up in kansas mm -hmm. yeah just quiet and people out and walking around yep. just isn't like that so much anymore in the states nope and using the square. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people all the kids and the dogs and everybody were playing in the square. Yeah, and when we got there on Friday, people had their, somebody was there with their car and parked right up there next to the square and they were all hanging out on the sidewalk and they had their music jamming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it's neat to see, to see that and so many people active like that. It is. Mm -hmm. The other thing we noticed is that there's a lot of attention when it comes to food allergies. Mm -hmm. you've, you've got some food allergies, that's a really good place to go because they seem to be very, uh, aware of mm -hmm. any potential cross-contamination and issues yeah. and especially with gluten mm -hmm. yeah. gluten and soy and mm -hmm. peanuts peanuts yeah mm -hmm. and they're even sensitive to us vegans yes they are <laughs> we appreciate that yes <laughs> but the other thing i thought would be interesting so we were thinking if you lived there you know you can't get everything from bill cabama because it's pretty small and so what people do is they just go to loja and i guess stock up stock up there also is a really big mercado there on sundays mm -hmm. so on sundays they have the big the sunday is a huge family day mm -hmm. outdoor mercado everybody's out using the square even more mm -hmm. it's it was neat to see all that really we didn't get a lot see. of footage of that because there were so many kids mm -hmm. and as you know if you've watched our other videos we don't we try not to include children in our videos because of youtube's policies yes exactly but, and on family day there's children everywhere <laughs> yes there's still lots of kids <laughs> yeah lots and lots of kids yeah and everybody just so happy and having fun mm -hmm. it was just like it was reminded me of mayberry from andy griffith's show oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that only in uh, only latin with multiple languages being yeah spoken. people from all over the yes. world yeah <laughs> It was neat. Yeah, we really enjoyed our time there. We did, and we're excited to go back. Yes, we are. The next time, we're, I think we're going to stay in an Airbnb so that we can live more like a local, cook our own food mm -hmm. and shop, and, and that way we can show you more of what a day in the life looks like there. That sounds like a really good idea. Yeah, when are we going? I don't know. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> we just got back to Cuenca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave us a like, a thumbs up. Yes, please. That always makes us feel happy, warm and fuzzy on the inside. <laughs> we have some exciting news coming, too, a, a change, another change, but this is a good one I think you guys are going to like. Hopefully so. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about it. Yeah, me too. And we'll fill you in more on that in an upcoming video. Sounds so, good. In the meantime, please uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, I'll have more information in our blog post, mm -hmm. including links to the van service that we used and other information. So go check that out if you have more questions that we didn't answer in this video. And on that note, ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>